as you give yourself to volume, what begins to take place is that naturally, the spirit gains the dominion again. And all of a sudden, what was difficult becomes easy. In minutes, Jesus cast out a demon. Say after me, what is hard for some is easy for somebody. I spent eight hours casting out one demon before. How many hours? We started at 9 p.m. And by 5 a.m., we're no longer trying to cast out the demon. We're now checking who the demon is responding to. I don't like remembering that story. Praise God. Chapel of Resurrection, I'll never forget. We had stopped trying to cast it out. We're now surrounding the, the possessed person and we're taking turns casting out. In the name of Jesus, King of Glory, everlasting Father, who sits on the throne. I declare the demon will react. He reacted to me. So, next person. <laughs> Around 5 a.m., the girl eventually fell down and just lay down on the floor. I said, Guys, I think they are pitied us. Let's respect ourselves and go back to the host there. I vowed that day it will never happen again. And to the glory of God, it has never happened again. As light, listen, as light begins to increase, the ease at which we dispel darkness also increases. Are you getting what I'm saying? God bless you. Celebrate these great people. Come on. Acts chapter 6, 1 to 4. Acts 6, 1 to 4. Something happened. Something happened. We see them give themselves to volume again. Something happened. The energy level dropped. Look at this. One, two. Can you give us another version? Something like NLT, message version. Our young people, some of the language of King James also allow some things to sink. Let's go. One, two, go. So the twelve called the meeting of the disciples. Okay. During this time, as the disciples were what? By what? Leaps and bounds. What happened next? Hellenists towards the Hebrew speaking believers because they are widows who have been discriminated against. Did you see that? What happened? This thing must have been happening before this time. But as the number increased, what naturally takes place is that all manner of people who come from all walks of life with all their issues and issues begin to arise. Once you have 100 men, you are going to begin to have issues, right? And you now have 3,000 human beings. You are going to have more issues. Yes or no? As you begin to contend for greatness, you must get ready to contend for power. Because his power, oh. his power, his power, his power that maintains that greatness that you are going for. So the numbers began to increase, but the energy level was not rising with the numbers. Quarrels started. People started murmuring over food. See what happened. How do we know something happened to their energy level? Verse 2, 1, 2, go. So the Bible says they abandoned it all. These great apostles they left the church with abandoned the preaching of the word of God and began to what? Serve tables to share food. Obviously, the energy level will drop. You will now notice that you are saying the same thing. People are not listening. David said, blessed be God that subdued my people under me. When you speak and there's quite a rivalry, people are not listening to what you are saying. The energy level has dropped. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm speaking to some leaders here. Jesus will tap somebody and say, follow me. He won't even think about the instruction. He will just stand up and do what? Follow him. It was after like maybe two years, Peter paused and asked himself, wait, we have not even asked him where we are going to. So he asked him, he said, uh, sorry, we have left all and followed you. Uh, what is the need for us? When should you be asking that question? At that point or at the beginning? But the force is called anakazo, compelling power. You say it, they have moved before they start reasoning. I, I somebody hear what I'm saying? Many of you want to win souls. Take this seriously. It's energy. It's power that causes things to happen. All those arguments they're arguing with you. Is Jesus the Son of God? How come he's still, how come he's still the, is he God? If he's the way, how can he still lead the way? And then you are arguing and explaining all manner of nonsense. 
No, okay. How can somebody say it's the truth? I still know the truth. I'm CBD. You tongue away the person's head when you arrive and say, listen to me, God loves you. Yes. He needs you now. Yes. Give your life now. I'm ready. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Volume will cause you to increase in intensity and light. It makes matters to be resolved like that. Glory to God. Let's see what happened. Verse what? Verse 3. So friends, choose among yourselves. Verse 4. Verse 4, verse 4. Quickly, please. Meanwhile, we'll stick to our what? Assigned task of what? Prayer. And speaking God's word. Did you see that? Then what happened in verse 7? Watch. One, two, go. The word of God prosper. Not least. Did you see that? So if you like the product, like the price too. If you like the prophecy of greatness, then like the price of greatness as well. One man God used to establish that in the body of Christ, our father, Bishop David Oedipo. He helped me understand the cost implication of destiny. If you like the product, like the price too. I shared this many times. I usually, I used, I used to like perfumes. I still do anyway. I love perfumes. And um, when I was in second in university, I bought what they call smart collection. I don't know how much it is now. But that time it was five hundred naira. Yeah, yeah. Nigeria is great. Praise God. <laughs> it was five hundred naira, and I bought plenty. I bought five. Someone say five. <laughs> five smart collections. I wanted to be smart. <laughs> and then I began to spray myself. Someone says, spray yourself. <laughs> I sprayed myself. I left the room, entered the car, go to the faculty. The spray was gone. <laughs> I could not understand. How come this thing didn't follow me from the room? It's just 10 minutes away. I could not understand why I would spend so much money I didn't know I was not spending money. I used to see that there are some people who will use perfumes. And when they hug you, the perfume will hug you too. <laughs> you will go to places, it's following you. They just hugged you. You didn't put it. Are you, have you seen that before? You hang your clothes in the cupboard. It will hug all the clothes. You wash it, dry it, iron it, and it is still there. Who understands what I'm saying? So that's what I was looking for. I like the product. I didn't know it's not 500 naira. Nobody told me. When I finally discovered the price and I saw how tiny the bottle was, I said, why? Why? What for? What is it, sir? If you like the product, stop fighting with the price. Pay the price. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tap your neighbor and say, pay the price. If you like the product, pay the price. Why are you testing the clothes if you're not ready to pay the price? So it looks good. Ah, come on. Ah, it fits me. It's as if they made it for me. Ah, ah. When they measure the price, do what? Pay the price. Pay the price. Pay the price. Everybody can shout amen. Amen. You'll be great. Amen. The old world will know you. Amen. Your light will shine in every nation. Bishop Waloke came to our church and prophesied to me. I was playing the keyboard. I said, the mantle of David is coming upon you now. The Lord will give you songs in the night. Songs that will set the captives free. Songs that will change the world. So I went to go and sleep that night. He put his face towel on my, on my head. Can you imagine? I don't know if you would like that to happen. <laughs> that does not mean your life will change you. You're not ready to pay the price. I slept expecting to wake up with tunes. Dun, 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 dun. I woke up, no tune. Slept the next night, woke up, no tune. It was like a week, two weeks before I realized that even the one I was coming before has not stopped. I didn't know that God wanted to open a greater door, so he shot the one that was distracting me. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Kai. 
It was one year after, before I had sense. I said, Holy Spirit, wait, this is a great prophet of God. This is supposed to have taken place by now. The Holy Ghost said, is it now I'll be telling you you give birth to my words? One month I shut down and I was pressing in. And the river broke out. Sounds began to come out. People began to reach out from nations. We had, we had, we had, we had, we had, we had, we had. I was listening and this happened. I was listening and that happened. I was listening and this happened. I was listening and that happened. If you like the product, like the price too. Stop writing dreams and visions you're not ready to pay for. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop whining the Holy Ghost. Stop it. I'm hungry. I'm serious. I'm serious. I really mean it. I'm hungry. Confirm what you're hungry for. Praise God. <laughs> if you like the product, like the price. So say that with me. If you like the product, like the price too. You want to make a destiny, then get ready to pay mega price. I hope that's clear. I'll share my story very quickly. Some two guys met me on campus many years ago. I said, God told them I'm one of his generals. We all like those kind of things. We, saw, we see you in the spirit. God said you're one of his generals. And I want to have the privilege of praying with you. What they didn't know is that God was calling the things that be not as though they were. The me they were talking to, the version of me they were talking to was still trying to have prayer life. Instead of me to humble myself and say, wow, we thank God for that. I assume the role of a general. Come on, say general. So I said, it's all right. We thank God. He said, can we have the privilege of praying with you? I said, ah. Uh, oh. Uh, not, not today. Say, not today. Not today. Not today. I, said, uh, I can do Friday uh, midnight. Let's do midnight Friday. Thank you so much, sir. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We thank God. Friday, they came for me and knocked my door. And one thing I didn't used to play with was sleep. I was sleeping. And they knocked the door. Like, Who is that? Some of you sleep. It's as if a drunken person woke up. My eyes were red. I opened the door. Who are you? They said it's time for prayer. Which prayer? I have forgotten my commitment. Prayer. I just remember their faces. Okay, the generals. <laughs> so I followed them. We got to Chapel of Resurrection. And I was waiting for us to start. I prepared my prayer points. By the time I'm done with them, they shall know who the general is. We arrived and all of a sudden they started speaking in tongues. So I was wondering, okay? Okay, opening prayer. Okay, okay, so. I started speaking my own tongues too. My tongue was Shekatelia, Shekatelia, Shekatelia. It's only one. Does not use to change. General Lou. <laughs> Are you following? This was how God introduced me to volume. Listen carefully. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? See, possibilities are domiciled at energy levels. That's why I'm dealing with this matter of volume. There are many things we can say tonight. I just want to leave you with this one truth. The possibilities in Christ right now in your spirit are domiciled at energy levels, at temperatures. As you increase energy level, the capacity begins to unlock. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? That's what happened to me. Some of you don't know you are seers. Pray for some while, you'll see what I'm saying. You unlock sight. Before you know it, you unlock hearing. Before you know it, you unlock different, different things. Unlock healings, unlock miracles. Unlock favor. You unlock different things at different energy levels. Then you unlock them in different qualities too. Kai, is somebody hear what I'm saying? So they started praying. I should have known from the tongues that these guys will spend hours praying. My own was just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. So I was waiting. Five minutes passed, 15 minutes passed. I was wondering who opens prayer for 15 minutes. 30 minutes, they were still opening the prayer. Ah! What's going on here? One hour, they were still opening the prayer. I was not happy again. You don't treat a general like this. He didn't tell them. One hour, 30 minutes. 
Ah, I was now switching from confusion to anger. By two hours, I was depressed. <laughs> I just sat on the grass looking at them. What nonsense is this? I was waiting for them to gather so I can give them a piece of my general mind. So they came together. I was about to talk. The first one said, I see myself now in the spirit in Iran. I said, it? Which Iran is that? And I see a man about to be killed for the gospel. Let's pray that he will not do it. I shouted, Shake it, Elia! Shake it, Elia! Shake it, Elia! Shake it, Elia, Jesus! I was shouting. The second person said, I see myself now in Sweden. And I'm seeing a woman about to commit suicide. Let's pray for her. I said, Sweden! Yay! Shake it, Elia! Holy Ghost! That was going on. I, I could not understand. We are on chapel of resurrection ground. How did you get to Iran now? He said, come see. We said, pray, 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 pray. As they finished, they began to speak in tongues one by one and interpret. Remember, they say I'm general. So, I, <laughs> they confused general that night. I do not know I should be the one learning from them. So I was watching. The first one spoke, interpreted. Hey, hey. Second one spoke, was interpreting. Then it dawned on me. General, you are the next to. <laughs> but if you have been born and bred in church, there's almost no church drama you cannot add. Praise God. <laughs> so, did I say that? The first travel in the spirit, I not go anywhere. I was here. It's only few that I saw. These few that were standing on. That's all I saw. I not travel anywhere. But this one, if I don't interpret, they will say, who is this one? So I got my interpretation ready before my tongue reached. Please don't laugh at me. Praise God. All things have passed away. So it reached my tongue. And I close my eyes. Shake it till ya. Shake it till ya. Shake it till ya. I said, look up. They looked up. Do you see the moon? They said they see the moon. Ah, ah, wait now. I said, you see this white light around the moon? They said they see it. I said, God is telling me now. That's how angels are surrounding us right now. Come on, celebrate grace. I didn't stop there. I didn't stop there. I said, listen now. And God is telling me he has had us. He has had us. He has had us. He has had us. I've had you. I've had you. He has had us. And he said to show him that we believe he has had us. We should leave this place now. Just in case you think I'm, you are a scammer, I was a scammist. Are you hearing what I say? Just in case you are a scammer. One of the signs of prayerlessness is that they always, in the name of Jesus, end prayer. They are looking for how it can end. If God has answered you, you don't have another prayer to pray. I say it's to show him that, yeah, we believe. We should get out of this place now. They were still looking at me. They were shocked because they were probably planning for five hours. I said, we are still here. General has spoken. Let's leave now. <laughs> we started running. I told God it will not happen again. Once beaten, five times shy. But I never forgot how I felt. I never forgot how I felt. These guys were different. There was something strange about their lives. Ah, ah. How can somebody be experiencing this kind of liberty in the spirit at ease? Imagine how easy they'll be winning souls. Harvesting souls anyhow with the gifts of the spirit unlocked because at certain energy levels you see yourself come alive. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I remember when I had a dream, I saw my battery level, it was 20 over 100. At this point, fast forward, I had already started giving myself to volumes of praying in the Holy Ghost. Because of our time, I won't share all that. So we pray as much as 12 hours in the tongues every month. And I was seeing things happen. We had gotten thousands filled with the Holy Ghost by then. I was about 19, 20 years old. 
So at this point, I was having this dream. I was already seeing some results. So that's why the dream didn't make sense to me. I saw 20 over 100. 20, 20, 20. Why 20? Who is 20? Holy Ghost said, that's your battery level. Amy. You couldn't have convinced me otherwise. I know who I am in Christ. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Say, that's your battery level, sir. <laughs> That's the only way we could get it across to me. That there's more. Now I understand. I was operating at 20%. Kai, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? And it was calling me higher. Some of you, they're calling you higher this night. They're calling you higher. So I started. Ah, Holy Spirit, what's going on? What's going on? Why am I 20? I got to my fellowship in the evening. I was vice president. So we're having pre-fellowship. Prayers. The escorts. And the president was now talking about battery level. He said he watched a video by Benny Hinn. Holy Ghost asked Benny, how long does it take to charge your spirit, your iPad? He said, about two hours. Holy Ghost asked him, how long does it take to charge your spirit? He said, he doesn't know. He has to charge to find out. So he started charging. How do you charge? How do you charge? Come on now. Come on, come on. Jude 20, building up yourself for your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You combine it with speaking yourselves in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto God. That's how you what? You charge your battery. He said he began to charge. He has to charge to find out. Guess how long it took him? Some of you have watched the videos. Guess how long it took him? Anybody? Anybody? It took him two weeks. I, I, I shouted, ah, ah, ah. So I began to ask questions. Said, something is wrong somewhere. Why not hearing something? Something is wrong somewhere. How come I'm hearing this for the first time in my life? But it was not the first time I was hearing it. I had already heard it from fathers in the faith. And they would spend days just charging their battery. I've had it before, but for some reason, there was still a veil on my eyes. That's why downloading messages, listening to messages... If the veil has not left your eyes, you will be listening to messages you are not hearing what they are saying. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? That day, the veil left. I began to remember what I've listened to. One of them was Bishop Bishop was saying, I wanted to charge my battery over some days, and I began to pray the Holy Ghost. I began on Monday, break it, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Hallelujah. The time is almost up. Pray the Holy Ghost by Wednesday, my body was generating supernatural heat. I had to cool off on the floor. I remember that message stretching for this. Ha! Ah. I said, God, I'm hungry. I want to see the nations come under the fire. He said, Pay the price. So I started. I started. I started. I started. I started to have spiritual experiences. Some very strange, I might not want to mention here. I began to see that the Bible is true. Those things you are reading in the Bible is true. As weird as people being in two places at the same time. Yeah. It happened to me. I was lying down on my bed. Kuti Hall, University of Ibadan. D27. I will never forget. And at the same time, I was standing in Wales. I held my body and said, Lawrence, you are here. By the time I jacked back in my body, it was after a dream I had where I was 55 bar. 55. Remember I said I was 20 before? I began to chat. I became 55 bar. Then the Holy Ghost told me, what will happen when you're 100? That's, that's all I needed. I said, Jesus, run. No, I'm coming. No. Let me finish. I said, I'm coming. Some of you, once you go on your break now, you know what to do. Ah, Do you know what to do? You know what to do. That sickness will run away by the speed of light. Are you getting what I'm saying? Addiction, addiction, addiction. Tell addiction. Don't go. Wait. Don't go again. I'm sorry I've been shouting. You should go, 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 go. Just wait. Follow me. They start to go towards the fire. And you see what happened to Paul. It gathered more sticks. By itself, it had sense. The viper came out. Generate power to a level. Demons will begin to find their square root. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They're not that stupid. The environment is conducive. That's why. 
generate power. Rise up on your feet everywhere. Come on, come on, come on. Declare in the name of Jesus. I receive strength to give myself to the volume required for my destiny. Lift your voice and blast in the Holy Ghost everywhere.